Good morning. Uh, today is a special data Friday. Um, I'm really excited about something that happened is that uh, my 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 book Spark in Action, the second edition, uh, has been released. Um, it's it's printed. Uh, it's thick, um, 600 pages. Um, it's full of uh, illustrations, code, explanation. Um, and um, I think they, the, the people at Manning did a great job in the layout, a fantastic job in the layout, really. Um, pages are, are really nice, even in black and white. All the graphics are were in color um, in the first edition. Um, Sorry, not in the first edition, the in the PDF edition. Um, so if you get the if you get the paper edition, you also get the PDF for free. Um, but uh, if you um, so, the, but it's printed in black and white, like most books. But this is really a gorgeous layout. Um, so today is a bit special because I wanted to kind of celebrate the. the publishing of the book, the availability of the book. And uh, for, for that, I went through a little bit of a trivia. And uh, as it's not really a trivia where you ask questions or ask questions, or it's more like about a few bits and nuggets from, from the book. And uh, I, hope, um, I hope you'll enjoy this special edition of Data Friday. It's a bit different. First, um, first I wanted to... to um, to, to come back to the motivation on why I wrote this book, um, I started working with Spark uh, back in 2015, roughly, uh, and, um, and at the World of Watson in 2016, uh, Rob Thomas here uh, in, the, in the dark suit on stage um, talked about... Um, Spark as being an analytics operating system. So there's a video on me on YouTube about why I think it's an operating system, an analytics operating system as well, and how I define an analytics operating system. But that's not the topic of today, uh, Data Friday. But uh, so that was that was a really inspiring talk, and I think uh, well, I thank Rob for this talk, and and actually Rob was uh, was really. Uh, uh, great, uh, was really generous in writing the foreword as well for, for the book. So thank you, Rob, again. Um, and uh, yeah, so that that was one 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 little piece of, of information about about the book. Um, another one is this book is really you know it's an international book, um, as you probably guess by the accent or know by now. Um, I'm French. Um, and so the so Manning is a really international organization as well, with uh, Marjan Bache, the, the the publisher, being from Croatia, uh, and a lot of the team you work with is from various countries, including Croatia, and uh, that was that was a gorgeous experience. But the thing is, it's also it, it's also, and I wanted to give back a little bit in, in data in, in the book. So, all the, a lot of the data sets in the books are real data sets. Uh, there, um, I didn't want to use funny data sets or you know like column A, column B, column C, and do things in between, but really use real life examples um, uh, of uh, of data sets like uh, Open Data or NASA data sets, etc. So. It was it was kind of fun to try to find a little bit of data sets that were outside uh, just of the U.S. and uh, so in uh, one of the first data sets I used uh, was outside of data. Well, not one of the first data sets, but one of the data sets I used was an Irish data set. So in chapter in chapter fourteen, um, uh, I'm using a, a data set from uh, from Ireland. Um, and, and there's a lot of reason why Ireland. For first, uh, I love Ireland. Uh, that's uh, that's where I learned most of my English when I was uh, an early. How do you say that now? A tween. Uh, so in you know the early early teen, um, thanks to Margaret Bloomer. And uh, so so it's not you know so so the thing is 
the accent you're hearing, even if you think it's French, it's not really French, it's more like Southern Irish. Um, nevertheless, uh, and I also had uh, the pleasure and honor to be delivering a talk at uh, uh, Spark Summit in, in, in Dublin in 2017. So that's another push for Ireland. Uh, and I also have... Um, uh, and, and that that was the, the talk I gave in Ireland was actually all chapter nine. So chapter nine is is really about about this talk. Uh, it's about custom data sources. And I also wanted to dedicate this this chapter to Nassim Akara, uh, with a great friend and also uh, living in Ireland. And uh, Nassim uh, uh, and um, has been. Um, has been supportive during the book and uh, still like uh, Spark after reading the book. So I think that yeah, good. Uh, chapter chapter sixteen uh, is talking about Brazil. So first, there's there's, there's several reasons why why um, why why Brazil. Uh, but one of the reason is um, is that back in Last October, um, as you can see here, uh, we have reviews. Okay, and and actually, that that's when all the chapters started to be available. And uh, so, and the two reviews that you can see here are actually coming from Brazil. So um, I think it was it was just and it's five stars reviews. And so it was just I think a normal um, a normal uh, grateful. Uh, gesture to, to thank Brazilian people. So that's why uh, in chapter 16, the, the, the data set I'm, I'm using to illustrate um, what is about ch chapter 16 again? Eh? That's that's a good question. Chapter 16, and what chapter 16 means? So just, let me just check what is chapter 16 again towards the end of the book. Uh, it's caching and checkpointing, so about enhancing Spark's performance. Uh, yeah, and, and I used an example about um, about Brazil and the cities, and uh, and that was uh, that was a really interesting uh, that was a really really interesting data set, um, and uh, I worked with with Christina on this data set because uh, yeah, so it was just 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 fantastic uh, uh, fun to to work and discover a bit more about Brazil, and uh, I also at that time roughly uh, <laughs> worked a, a very very brief period of time for Brazilian company. But anyway, uh, so uh, so that's that that was this. Um, now uh, another piece of trivia is um, oh, is is France. Okay, so um, I used a French data set, uh, and that was uh, that was um, you've got to find out in the book. That was about the. The Grand Débat, which was a big debate that uh, President Macron uh, started, and he published all the results about uh, all the findings they had in France. And uh, we did a little bit of analytics. I did a bit of analytics uh, in the book and mentioned this data set. So, yeah, uh, and plenty of references are from all over the world. Um, so, not only Europe and the US. Uh, Brazil's not in Europe, uh, not in the US, um, but uh, yeah. So you can you can find out um, the cover, the cover of this book, um, the cover of this book. So there's there's a lot of things to say about about the cover. So let me just show you the the cover. Okay, here here is a cover. Um, so there's a few things. First, um, it's Manning tradition to use for the inaction and other books actually, but for for the inaction for sure. So the inaction in series to use um, uh, drawings from a guy called uh, Jacques Grasset de Saint Sauveur, and uh, Jacques Grasset de Saint Sauveur was. Uh, was a French uh, person and uh, born in Montreal. Uh, you can, of course, uh, I don't know any. Well, I don't know him. I don't know him. He's, he's he passed. Is as you can see by the style. It's not like recent. Uh, and and Jacques was uh, um, 
was lived in uh, lived in Mon- was born in Montreal and and traveled through Europe to to actually um, draw all these things. So you can see different his his, his styles. Like for example, this is this is a uh, uh, from Bordeaux uh, in the south of uh, in the south uh, south of France. Um, and but it's not only uh, it's 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 not only French. Uh, um, drawings. It's from all over Europe uh, and, and the rest of the world. For, for some, for example, this is this is someone from Ven- from Venetia, so it's a Venetian. So it's it's interesting to to discover the different culture through the, um, through his uh, uh, through his drawings. Um, so I I was lucky. Uh, I picked um, I picked this 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 uh, cover. Um, this this people for the cover, and I was happy that Morjan was 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 okay with that, uh, as they they are. It's one of the of um, uh, Gracie de Saint Sauveur's uh, drawing of uh, of um, of people from Alsace. Uh, so Alsace is a country is a count the region in France where I'm, where I'm, I'm coming from. So it's um, it's it's it was it was it was actually uh, pretty pretty much a, a pleasure to find those pictures so this is a map of france um and uh, of course everything <laughs> rotates around paris as you see by the highways but if you if you move towards germany uh you see uh you see a city called strasbourg here that that's where i uh, i was born and um uh, and uh, my, my parents, even if they travel a lot, are are back to this uh, are back to this city. And if you continue zooming in, uh, there is okay. Thank you, Google, for catching up. There is. We need to keep going down. Uh, so you see real names like uh, Lampertheim, Unheim, Bischheim, Schildigheim. And you see these three here, Oberhausbergen, Mittelhausbergen, and Niederhausbergen. So the Hausbergen was only one town at that time. And these two people were, uh, were peasants from, from this town. So and my parents are living just very close to there. So I found it, I found it really interesting to be, to have this, this couple. Um, and they remind me a bit of my parents were in, uh, Back in France, um, so that's that's a cover. Uh, another nugget on the cover is that it's the only book, it's the only Manning book with two, uh, with uh, with two people. Most of Manning books uh, having, well, all Manning books with um, with uh, uh, with uh, people on the cover, the in action salary, uh, I have only one person. Okay, so that's that's the first that's the first one with a couple. Um, and uh, yeah I can <laughs> I can get my old uh, hibernate hibernate search in action and you see there's only one guy. Same 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 uh, same illustrator. Um, and uh, but uh, yeah but a bit uh, of a of a different uh, a different style. Um, so that that's a cover. Um, really love the covers. They did a fantastic job there, really. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to not use too much superlatives. Another another nugget is, um, and that's more like for, on the PDF version is illustrations. Okay, so as you can see, there's a lot of illustration in the book. Um, there's almost 200 illustrations in the book. So uh, you see there. They're everywhere, so it's like kind of the legend of the of the. Uh, but you you see you see illustrations like that, okay. So, and in the PDF version, they are in color. Uh, I think it made more sense to have them in color. And so, for for I live in in Chapel Hill, which is home of uh, UNC, the University of North Carolina, uh, a prestigious university that was built in. Um, in the 18th, the end of the 18th century, so pretty old for the U.S., and um, they they have a color which is this sky light uh, blue there, and we are next door to another university which is also prestigious, which is called Duke, um, and 
that that meant that they have the dark blue. Okay, so there's always this conflict and this rivalry, but a friendly rivalry between the two universities, and that's actually uh, why I I wanted to have this this color scheme. So you will find a lot of this dark blue and uh, and um, and and light blue as you see the different illustrations in the book, uh, like here, for example. Um, and uh, this, you can see that they did a pretty good job at manning at, at the, in, in the layout as well as putting the legend, putting putting the captions, putting uh, all the illustration in a very nice way. But that's okay. That's my uh, my nugget on on UNC and Duke. Um, there's <laughs> my my next nugget is is is. Is a fun one as well. Um, so, and it, it's come, it's coming from um, a different of a culture, I would say. So, if if you look at uh, at this screenshot, that was that was the the appendix H I J K and L uh, uh, in in an earlier version of the appendices, and you can see that append appendix J is a reference for joins. Well. In French, joins are uh, jointures. So you see a T there because you're actually, it's not about joining, it's about creating a joint between, between two, two data sets. Um, so I just wrote it like with a T, okay? And, uh, uh, and it stays there. So I want, I really wonder how much I sold, uh, in the pod community regarding, um, because I, I had an appendix which was really specialized on, uh, a reference for joints. So it has been corrected since, uh, and all the appendices are now, uh, in, a more classical order, uh, so I cannot even say I cannot even tell you which uh, appendix it's it's now in, but it's it's definitely in the book. Um, you know, like this, you can see here that I used H for history of enterprise data. Uh, I used I I for ingestion, J for joins, K for static functions. But there's a trick with the K. Um, and L for lexicon, etc. So all this um, as did not go well with with all the editors, which I find great editors in mining, uh, and not only one but many. Uh, the main one was Marina. Was Marina Michaels was just awesome, but she uh, she was one only on on the team of editors. Um, my next uh, my next nugget is uh, is um, the IBM. IBM champion. So if you look at the at the back of the book here, uh, here you see there's there's a there's this uh, yeah uh, IBM champion logo. Um, I've been an IBM champion for twelve years. Uh, it's a title that is renewed every year, so uh, you've got to be consistent. Um, I've been the first champ IBM champion in in France. Um, uh, we we were two this year and. Um, but I'm still in the blazes, not anymore. Um, anyway, so so um, so uh, it's been it's been a while. Uh, something I'm pretty proud of it. So of course it does. It's it's it transpired through my life. So um, in chapter seventeen, uh, I, I'm speaking well. I'm speaking about IBM when it's due in the book. It's not a book f about IBM technologies, but, uh, but the thing is, IBM is big in this industry, and and uh, when they are, when it's due, I, I mention them. Uh, but I, I think chapter 17 is using a data set that it was given by Call for Code. Call for Code is is an, it's a it's a fantastic uh, uh, initiative from from IBM to use coders for doing good uh, and I really 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 invite you to discover uh, what it's all about um, so it's uh, call for code uh, dot, dot org um, I, I put that in the link um, and uh, so chapter 17 is talking about that and uh, finally um, finally I the book is is of course having a lot of source code in GitHub. Um, each chapter, uh, each examples, 
of the chapters. Each lab is is in a separate repository, so you can study really one repository or one chapter at a time. You you don't have to have to dig through all the chapters. Um, so I found I found I decided to go this way. I found it a little easier for me. Um, but uh, but there's also uh, another little gift with the book uh, is uh, if you if you go to the to the catalog page you will find the link here called the guide to static functions for Apache Spark so you'll find it for two three four three zero um, I think that's yeah that's two four three which is a bit outdated uh, so depending on which version of spark you're using um you will you will find that and i'm actually working on 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 even making it a little bit better uh for uh, for um uh for uh, for um for spark 30 which is uh, just coming out now and uh so if you if you download that you will see really all the a description of all the functions functions are so important in 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 uh, in Spark for your data transformation, uh, they chapter twelve, chapter twelve and thirteen are really focusing on the data transformation. But uh, the functions are are here. So after the after the table of content, you see that there's a, I've categorized them. Um, I have uh, uh, based on their different types. You can kind of function can be in different in different categories. You you will see them also by version. But as you can imagine. Um, Every version of Spark is adding its set of functions, like three zero add a, add a few, like twenty six new functions, uh, two four zero integrated twenty five functions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So the functions are really something that is as is making Spark really rich. Uh, so I, I just wanted to to give them uh, a place of honor in in, in this and uh, uh, this 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 this. Uh, um, supplement or this complement of the book is it's totally free uh you can go to the page and download it and you'll see it's 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 104 uh i think it's 140 pages uh it's um yeah 141 it's um it's going to be useful if you if you're looking for something and um uh, when you're doing your data transformation so go get it it's 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 free uh it will be updated uh, on a regular basis and um, I hope, um, yeah, I hope it's going to be useful for you as it is for me. Um, so yeah, so <laughs> so I know that was a that it was a, that was a bit of a of a of a weird data Friday uh, nuggets about uh, Apple, uh, Spark in action um, second edition. Um, it's been it's been uh, it's been a. Uh, it's been a fun three years working on it. Uh, so uh, I had a, I had to, uh, I had to find a few nuggets here and there to, to, to make the, um, to make the book maybe a little bit uh, different than we, what you would be expecting. There might be a few others. So uh, there definitely is a few others. And uh, I, with that, I, I wish that, uh, I wish that you're going to read it. Uh, and uh, really enjoy it. And uh, thank you so much. And uh, see you next Friday for more code uh, this time. And we'll dig into something completely different, I promise. Thank you, guys. Thank you, girls. Uh, see you next Friday. Bye-bye.